you wake up the next morning and you give your child the last wee of it, smash it with a little bit of water with a glass of tap water to wash it down with. I'm glad you live by yourself because if anybody else knew, they might call social services. Where's mummy's breakfast? He asks, all big blue eyes and two rather concerned. And you tell him that mummy's not very hungry. Mummy wasn't very hungry last night either. And it's just the grind of unemployment, of applying for over 300 jobs and not getting anything, of going hungry in order to feed your child day in, day out. It's the, doing the right thing, according, you know, getting up, striving every day to find a job and be a better person and be able to support yourself and your child and not being able to do that. And delays and cuts to benefits are the biggest cause to food bank use in the UK. Oxfam released a report that says half a million people are using food banks in the UK and a lot of those are people in work. I was seeing my future sitting all day in my home, in my power chair from 08.45 to 22.30, with only two breaks on my bed to enable me to be washed as I will be wet, and from having no mid-morning or afternoon call. This washing, washing time will be taken out of my one hour lunch and one hour tea time. I will have open pressure sores that will need to be treated by a nurse regularly. I see my life as sitting on a wet pad most of the day, just being fed and watered and no jack of money to keep me company. And above all, no freedom to do anything I wish. My home will become my prison. We are struck for cash anyway. Um, to make up the 46 hours on most of them, I'm going to be sitting at my home in a wet pad all day, getting pressure sores and wanting to just go to the bottom of the garden and put my head in the pond. You're I'm absolutely petrified. I, can I do actually remember hearing a mother discuss whether she can pay <coughs> for the visit of a doctor or whether it's got to go on food for the family. Those days must never return. You've got amazing experience. 90 years ago you joined the Labour Party. What is your lesson for me as Labour leader? What's your advice to me? To stick to the principles that started the Labour movement which was, in a way, social justice. Yeah, very good.